Hi Taurus, how are you? Happy holidays to you all. I hope that you are enjoying your holiday season. I feel that I send you guys so much love and light and I thank you for being here with me today. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lynn and this is Passionate Heart Tarot. If you're one of my returning subscribers, just know that I send you all so much love and light. I'm so thankful to have you back here with me again. And this is going to be your love reading for the end of December. All right, Taurus. So if you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up comment and share you can book a personal reading with me on my website passionateheartarot.com and follow me on instagram at passionateheartarot everything will be linked below taurus all right so let's get into your reading but before i do i just want to take a moment to invite the white light of the holy spirit and then we'll see what's coming in for taurus for the end of december So it's like you have this energy here of someone who can't stay away. They don't want to stay away. They can't. They're very drawn to this person. Where there was like this energy of being on a break, they, they want to come back so badly. But at the, at the same time, you have this person who just can't picture it happening. Can't picture a future with this person because at one point in time it did feel like it could have been something special it could have felt like wow this is everything that i wanted coming my way and now those feelings have changed something is here now where the energy has shifted and they feel like this is not what i want for my future this is not really what i'm picturing for myself you could be feeling this way about someone taurus like your feelings could have changed and now the connection and yeah there's a lot of hesitancy here that i can see about the timing of things feels like it's just not right everything is just off that's how it feels it's just off and with this fool card coming in reverse there's a lot of hesitancy someone doesn't trust this person to open up to them to to take this leap because someone is saying like come to me i'm gonna give you my all i'm gonna give you everything and then on the receiving end someone is like no i don't see it i can't picture it no i don't see it Th this is just a lot of hesitation and it's like there's not enough trust there there's not enough trust that, you know, if I take this leap, if I go all in, give you my all, are, where am I going to land? Am I going to land in a comfortable place? Are you going to be there for me? And someone has a lot of doubts about that. They do. You have this energy here of someone even still willing to put in everything that they can and then your energy is here Taurus so you could be dealing with another Taurus it's like this energy of no I'm gonna make it perfect I'm gonna do everything right I'm gonna do everything right and and still there's so much hesitation and I can see where the timing for the connection is off like the divine timing the way that things are supposed to go it's like it's not the right time some of you may feel this way you can feel it inside that there's an imbalance that it's not right for you to make this move because you, and then again taurus energy so yeah a lot of you are dealing with another taurus and then we have this pisces energy that's here as well i can see where it's not like a lot of thought hasn't been put into it because who's ever hesitant has put a lot of thought into whether or not they should make this move. They're thinking about the big picture and they're thinking about, well, if I go down this path, what's ahead of me? And if I choose another path, what's ahead of me there? And the way that they feel is like there's just not they're like sticking with something very traditional something that feels like it's stable 
because this is someone who's not taking any chances and doing anything that's like free spirited, doing anything that's wild. They're not taking a plunge, not taking a risk. They're very like, very rigid in, in their mindset and they don't wanna sway from what, they're, what they believe what they think is right they're not there this is a person whose energy is very stubborn so that could be how you feel about someone taurus especially if you're trying to get them to come to you to trust in you this person is very very headstrong and there's a lot of hesitancy that's here not wanting to to take any chances let's look and see why do they feel this way There's just, someone has stopped listening to what others around them are saying. Because you have a lot of people, it, it could even be family and friends who's who are involved and they're saying, oh, well, you should do this. Or if I were you, I would do this. But it's like someone is not listening to 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 their advice because they may be swaying this person to take a leap of faith and they've chosen not to, even in spite of what everyone has to say, they're not listening to anyone around them. They feel like, like this person is not offering them something solid, something true. There's just so much lack of trust that's here. Someone could feel this way about you, Taurus. If, if you're wanting someone to come to you, that's that's why they're so hesitant it's because they feel like well i see what you're offering me but if i look further what am i gonna find if i look deeper what am i gonna find they feel like they're gonna be blindsided by something they feel like it's not trustworthy or these could be your feelings deep down about someone who's trying to come back around because i see it it is it is like an offer it's like saying, come to me, but there's a lot of hesitation that's here. So this is important for you guys to know, especially if you have someone who's holding back, resisting. This is why, because they feel like, like there's just not enough trust. There's not enough stability. They feel like if they fall, where are they going to land? Who's going to catch me? Even so, you have someone that's like, please come back. Please come back. I don't want to be apart anymore. I don't want to take a break anymore. They feel like this person is my everything. When, when they walk in the room, they feel like the room just lights up. They do. And they want them to come back. Let's look at this Four of Swords. So this could be someone really begging, pleading, longing for you to come back, Taurus, and you just feel like it's not safe, safe for your heart. There's just not enough stability. I'm glad to see that something is going to be made very clear. And this is like once and for all, this is final. This is like taking a final chance, putting it all out there and just accepting what the outcome is. Because this is a lot of, this is communication that is very, very open. But I, I see here that someone's gonna be left out in the cold. You could end up turning someone down, Taurus. That's what I see. Cancer's energy is here as well, so you guys could be dealing with a Cancer. But like the, the timing is off karmically. It's, it's not the right timing for this connection. And it just feels like it's set up to fail. That's, that's how someone feels. Like it's, it's not gonna be successful. And I can see this energy of someone being left behind and feeling very sad about it. Feeling like, how could you just leave me? You're just gonna leave me out here in the cold and not let me be a part of your life, not let me be included. 
they feel like they've been abandoned. And you guys will talk about it because it's something that needs to happen because it's like it's kind of lingering. So when this Ace of Swords kind of communication comes in, it's something that is absolutely necessary because it can be like a conversation that just clears everything up and it can really be closure. So that's what you guys have coming in is closure, whether or not you give it to someone, Taurus, or you receive it, there is closure that's here. And what someone has decided is that they don't trust enough in the connection to, to give it a chance. I wanna see why this Three of Wands is here, but you have someone who's longing for you to walk through that door, to drive to them, to come see them because they feel like they would do anything to win you back. They feel very strongly about you, Taurus. They feel like you are their twin flame. And what that means is they feel like you are someone who understands them, like you are someone that they can just talk to about anything and everything. And you're like a lover, you're a best friend. They're, the emotions are very, very intense, but where it comes in reverse like that, especially with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse, a lot of, a lot of you are experiencing something that is very false. It's very deceptive, thinking it's one way, but it's not really that way. But I can see with your energy, Taurus, many of you just don't want to take this risk you don't want to because after looking at things thinking of the bigger picture there is a disappointment because i'm telling you someone's feelings have changed where they thought it could be something now they feel so differently and there's just such a disconnect in in the connection in the relationship and they don't want to give give into it anymore so that's what I can see. And that's important for you to know, Taurus, especially if, if you're the one who wants someone to come back to you. I can see that the timing for that connection, I mean, karmically and in the universe is just, it's not set up for success. And, you know, with the free will that we all have, someone's thinking about it and deciding that it's not something that they want to risk because it feels like it's a huge risk and they feel like it's unstable. But just know that I see closure coming in, a conversation that will happen. And it's a much needed conversation to, for someone to have closure, to be able to move forward from, from this kind of connection. All right, Taurus, so that's what I can see for you guys coming in uh, for the end of December. And closure is a beautiful thing, especially if something has been lingering. But I can just see that there's a lot of hesitation. Someone's not thinking about this connection like something they can rely on, something for their future anymore. All right, Taurus, so just know that I send you all so much love and light, and I thank you for being here with me today. And if you haven't already subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays to you all, and I will talk to you next week.